Hello YouTubers, Beer Geeks and Beer Hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, uh, this one is uh, from Almanac Beer Company. And it's called Hazy, wait, it's called Unfiltered Opinion IPA. It's a hazy, aromatic, juicy IPA coming at 6.1% alcohol by volume. And, uh... I got this at Total Wine and More for like five bucks for a pint. The malt is uh, Pilsner Wheat. The hops is Simcoe and Mosaic. Uh, never had this before. Never seen it before. Nothing. Canned on. Uh, wow. 2, 24, 21. So it's already a, a couple uh, a couple of few months old. All right. Hang on a second. I got to check something. Okay, I'm back. I just had to make sure I didn't do this beer, but yeah, I hadn't. So, um, Almanac Beer Company Unfiltered Opinion IPA, 6.1%. That's what the can looks like. Okay. They are from San Diego, California, I do believe. No, I'm sorry, Alameda, California. So uh, let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. It's like three months old, this beer. So I don't know why I haven't seen it or it just came in. I don't know. This should be fine, though. Alright. Alright, we have a huge, frothy, creamy, silky head. A little foamy. Some big bubbles popping up in there. Um... And we have like a straw colored yellow, slightly, well, pretty hazy. It's got a pretty nice haze to it. See? Okay. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Kind of lemon zesty, grapefruity. Kind of citrusy, maybe a little pineapple or something. It smells pretty good. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Mm. It's pretty darn tasty. See some particulates going off in there. Once again. <clears throat> Alright. Nice looking beer. Yeah, not bad at all, really. There we go. <clears throat> well, the taste follows the aroma. Plus some other notes that I'm picking up in here. Mm. I'll tell you something. <clears throat> this beer, uh, this beer company, um, their beers really grew on me. At first, I wasn't like really into them that much, but they really grew on me. Um, I just picked up some floral notes in here. Their beers really grew on me. Very tasty. They have a certain taste to them. They, uh, they have a unique. All their beers have a unique taste to them. They're kind of similar, but. Um, they are, they are so good. I love their beer. Yeah. Almost picking up some kind of, almost like pine, almost. Sound like Mustang. Really good. It's got a medium mouthfeel. It's real refreshing. Um, very tasty. Um, no booziness, no raw alcohol notes, nothing weird like that. Leaving some really good lacing on the glass there. Mmm. I like it. So uh, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. I guess it's going to be a quick one on this one. We'll swill it one more time and uh, see if we can pick up anything else and we'll wrap it up. Cheers.
Yeah, grapefruit, kind of a little lemon zest stand out the most. Then a little bit of like kind of like pineapple. It's just some general kind of citrusy type hop notes. And uh, really nice beer, really nice. You get session with these, really good. Drink a few of them, no problem. So on a scale of one to five star, I'm gonna give this puppy a, a solid 4.3. It's pretty damn tasty. It does have the similar taste to the other Almanac beers. I said that in some of the other Alm Almanac beer reviews. They do all tend to have that kind of grapefruit peel kind of note. A little malt, maltiness coming through. But it's very well balanced. Up. It's not overly hopped. It's not overly sweet. It's really good. Really crushable. Yeah, really nice. So 4.3 it is. That's my story. I'll stick with that. Uh, thanks for stopping by, checking it out. Appreciate it. Hit like, subscribe. Much appreciate that too. And uh, if you see this puppy, go for it. It's tasty. Really good beer. Alright, y'all have an awesome morning. We'll check you later, okay? See ya.